How's it going everybody? This is Abstract. Just wanted to do kind of a quick overview of the new SteelSeries Engine 3 software for the SteelSeries Siberia Elite headset, as well as going through an explanation of how to properly set up a 7.1 surround sound headset, because it seems like a lot of people are confused on how you're supposed to do it. So I'll try and keep things simple and get you guys through this so you can actually hear, you know, where people are coming from in CSGO or whatever game you play. Um, just to start out, I have new egg pulled up here. Uh, the Siberia Elite is getting pretty bad reviews to start out with, and I'm really not sure why. I think it's honestly because people don't know how to properly set it up. Like, the first review here says the microphone, basically it talks about how the microphone sucks. Um, I'm talking through it right now. It's pretty noisy in here. You know, this guy says, picks up a lot of background noise. My noise reduction is turned on. I'm pretty sure you guys can't hear anything in the background. Um, average at best. I don't really agree with that either. Um, I hopped on Mumble and TeamSpeak the second I plugged this headset in, and everyone was talking about how clear my voice was. So, I don't really agree with this guy. Um, the other review, poor sound quality. I definitely do not agree with that. Um, software did not recognize the headset, LEDs on the ear cups don't work. Chances are this guy just doesn't know how to read directions, because if the software didn't recognize the headset, chances are he plugged the headset in before he installed the software, and it clearly says right when you open the box, and even on the USB sound card, it says to download the software before you plug the headset in, or it won't work. So chances are he plugged the headset in first, and that's why none of this stuff works. Um, yeah, yeah, the LEDs did not work because he plugged it into a sound card. You have to plug the headset in through the USB sound card to access all the features, including the LEDs on the ear cups. So I'm kind of disappointed that these two reviews are the only ones on Newegg on this headset right now. I just submitted mine um, before making this video. Hopefully it'll be up soon. But, I mean, this is a really, really good headset. I love it. And it kind of sucks to see that people are leaving bad reviews blaming the headset when really it's their own fault. So, yeah. Didn't get sent this by SteelSeries or anything like that. I'm not a SteelSeries fanboy. This is the only SteelSeries product I own right now besides my mouse pad. Uh, my keyboard is Razer. My mouse is a Zoe EC1 Evo. My headset before this was a Plantronics Gamecom 780. I have another pair of Razer Orca headphones sitting here. So definitely not a fanboy by any means. So if we jump to the software, uh, you can see right here you have Dolby headphone. You can toggle it on and off. Uh, you have your equalizer. I tried the FPS when I was playing CSGO, and it made things sound like shit. Um, honestly, I'd stay unbalanced if I were you. I play balanced and I can hear everything in CSGO. So I'm not sure. I mean, they jacked up the high end on this. And it, it was to the point where it was hurting my ears just because everything was so high pitched. Um, maybe you'll like it. I didn't. I stay unbalanced. Noise reduction on or off. I have it on right now. That's why you guys can't hear any noise in the background. Auto mic compression. Um, this is a feature I actually really, really like. Because when I play CSGO with my friends, you know, one second I'll be talking really quietly, and the next second, you know, I'm yelling. And this is just a great feature to have turned on, you know, if you're like me. One second you're talking quietly, the next second you're yelling. What this does is it'll equalize that volume out. So even if you're talking quiet or if you're screaming, what everyone else will hear is the same volume. So moving down the line here, mic side tone... That's just hearing yourself talk through your headphones. I don't like having it on. Some people do. It's there if you want it. And then microphone volume. And then you can have live preview on, you know, which basically changes things on the fly. So that's the software. Oh, and you have your, you know, LED colors and everything here you can mess around with. Steady breathe. You can have it activate to sound, so you know, if you're playing CSGO, every time you shoot your gun, the LEDs will light up. I just have it on standard neon green. Alright, so moving on here. So, setting up a 7.1 surround sound headset. 
Everyone that has ever posted a review on a 7.1 headset that says the surround sound does not work, chances are they don't know how to set it up. So what you're going to do, you can't see it on my screen right now, but you're going to right click the speaker icon in the lower right corner and click playback devices. Now this is assuming you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8. Um, so you'll find the Siberia Elite headset or whatever 7.1 surround sound headset you're using and you're going to click configure. Now by default my headset was on stereo and it sounded like shit. So what you need to do because the software in the USB sound card are designed to convert 7.1 surround sound so it can go into your two speakers and your headphones. So to send a stereo signal through the 7.1 surround sound software is just going to make it sound even worse. So what you need to do is set it to 7.1 surround sound. So you basically need to trick Windows into thinking you have a 7.1 surround sound system. So you'll click finish, and now Windows thinks that your headset is 7.1 surround sound, when it's really not. The software and the USB sound card will take care of that. So then the next thing you need to do is in game, you need to go into your audio settings and you need to set it to 7.1 surround sound. Or if you're playing CSGO, as you know, it only goes up to 5.1. So you need to set CSGO's audio settings to 5.1 surround sound. I can't count the number of times that I've had people complaining their 7.1 surround sound headset doesn't work. And I ask them, okay, what's your in-game setting set to? And they go, well, headphones. Yeah, that's not that's not how it works because the SteelSeries software and the sound card need a 7.1 surround sound signal to convert it to virtual 7.1 that you hear through your headphones. So you need to set your Windows settings to 7.1 and your in-game settings to 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound. And then it'll sound great. Trust me, try it. If you haven't before, you'll love it. And then obviously you'll come here into the Siberia Elite software. Turn Dolby headphone on. You know, you can mess around with the presets if you want. The explosive action one is actually really sweet. I watched a I watched the Expendables with it on like that and it was it was pretty immersive. I liked it. But um yeah, that's just a, a quick rundown on how to set up a 7.1 surround sound headset. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll get answer you as fast as I can. Um, pretty, I'll be pretty busy over the next couple of weeks, but I'll try and help you guys out if you have any questions. Um, I'll post my Steam community link in the description if you want to add me on Steam Friends, play some CSGO. Uh, yeah, I have a new video coming up soon. I'm going to be doing a full, full-blown full review of this headset, hopefully proving some of these guys wrong on Newegg. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, all that crap. I'll see you guys next time.